talk my hair is not doing me any wonders right now okay guys so what is going on this is the dungeon girl video but i really wanted to wait for the season to finish and now that it has it's been a few days it's almost been a week actually since it finished now i want to start off by saying wow this is something i kind of mentioned in my spring 2023 video a little bit for anime that end up attracting a more normie audience that kind of watch it for a specific reason tend to fall off and i feel like don machi has been one of those series let's not get it twisted season one came out in 2015 and we had a four year break before we even got season two so that definitely also plays a factor they kind of really put themselves into that position with the first season and how much attention was put into hestia i think it got memed into oblivion obviously so it's like really hard to break out of that box that bird cage that that you're put into but if you stuck around with the series then you know right after season one season two going forward and even some of the side stories season three we delve into a lot of darker themes we get a lot of world building interactions with monsters what do you do with the monsters that have human-like characteristics that can communicate with you are these people just being slaughtered by adventurers by the gods what is the morality of the gods you know calling that into question a lot of people watch a season one of an anime and this is you know more i guess casual anime fans and they don't really watch this stuff after that uh this is more common than i think a lot of people think ultimately i think people only really want to follow what's hot uh if if they're watching season one of something and then something more interesting comes out uh wh whatever's pushed you know to them by the industry by crunchyroll by creators that's what they're gonna watch right they're gonna watch the demon slayers they're gonna watch the jujutsu kaisen the attack on titans regardless i think uh don machi still had its core fan base and for the people that watched this season season four wow it was so dark the stakes were so high and uh, if you think about it pretty much the whole season took place in this dungeon this goddamn dungeon this was the first time in this series where i felt like besides the bell versus asteria stuff where the danger was just so there it's it kind of reminded me like if you ever like try to like fight the elite four in pokemon with very low level pokemon right and you just get destroyed over and over and over you gotta keep spamming potions and revives and that's the kind of feeling i got from this season as our characters bell and ryu and the rest of them descend into this dungeon and we're going deeper and deeper and the monsters get stronger and stronger and we have to keep up with that pace we have to get stronger one thing i definitely enjoyed about this season compared to the rest of the seasons even two and three was that a lot of our side characters got so much development characters that i think were snubbed a little bit previously because we wanted to focus more on bell we're four seasons into the show we don't really need to see every single monologue for bell so i think they made the perfect decision to give a lot of our characters like lily wealth um mikoto i love dude mikoto has to be like loki one of my favorite characters besides like ryu and for people saying best girl hestia um i don't know man but just seeing these characters grow and having sometimes whole episodes i mean there was literally episodes where just bell bell just wasn't in the episode and that didn't take any enjoyment away at all Let's talk about the monsters a little bit. Some of these monsters, it's it's interesting, right? Because they're they're in a certain level in the dungeon, and you have monsters coming in from levels lower. So these are monsters that are much more difficult to beat, much stronger. Think about in a video game when you go into an area that you're not ready for. Elden Ring, for example, right in the first area, you can explore, but if you get to a certain point. You know these these enemies are much stronger than you you gotta follow the story you gotta you know level up before you can even fight some of these guys so you end up running past them but these guys don't have that luxury right they especially that uh the the black lizard monster this show doesn't do the thing where okay this is a fantasy world and people can just power up and beat any monster they want it's it's a lot more difficult than that you're gonna lose an arm 
even the fight with the giant hydra uh boss uh floor boss right with all the characters besides bell uh and ryu that the choreography for that fight was amazing people had to push past their limits we saw wealth for example you know uh, just completely you know evolve as a blacksmith we saw so many of our characters have to adapt the tactics are not necessarily shown through uh you know dialogue but it's shown in the fight in the action and that's something i really respected so let's talk about ryu ryu leon this is a character that we didn't really get too much of in the first few seasons we started getting a little bit more of her in season three but i had no idea she was going to play the role that she did in season four what happened she's been in this dungeon before what happened with her crew and episode 9 specifically, that flashback episode with what happened, um, you know, with the Estrella family in the dungeon fighting against the monsters was honestly a large part of the reason why I wanted to make this video in the first place. I think that was probably one of the best episodes, if not the best episode of the series. I really love Ryu's character. And uh, if I'm shipping, overall, the stakes were really high. Uh, there was a sense of danger. Every week, I couldn't really tell if someone's going to die or not, who was going to get hurt. If an anime can do that four seasons in, I think it's 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 done something special that a lot of anime in this genre, especially fantasy, uh, are not able to do. One more thing about danger that our characters felt in this dungeon. Although, you know, obviously our characters have the ability to heal each other, there wasn't a lot of downtime. Even when characters found solace in finding some sort of safe area, the monsters that would come in disrupting the flow of the episode, it, it really hits the watcher in the same way that it hits, uh, obviously not in the same way because these characters have to actually face them, but it does have a similar impact on the watcher as it does on the characters. You know, you're chilling, you found a safe area, the OST is, is kind of is kind of toned down a little bit your characters have a conversation all of a sudden you've got uh mobs coming in and these aren't even like bosses right they're just floor uh monsters right but because we're at such a low level because we fall down these levels and get to a point where we are completely outmatched even the you know most simplest mob like a sheep or like some sort of skeleton soldier is that much stronger and and they don't they don't just come running at you there's tactics involved there's qualities of these monsters that you have to take into account when you're trying to fight them and sometimes fighting them doesn't always mean you know going at them head first it means attacking tactically that's something that bell had to learn for sure and adding that to his arsenal i think is going to make him even greater of a fighter and hero fighter and hero and uh Man, I am so excited for season five. I think I don't really know the source material that much. I don't know how much in the light novel there is, but uh, with the way it's going, man, you could probably have this anime going forever. So what a, what a great season, man. So if you definitely haven't watched season four or maybe you stopped after season one, definitely get back into it. It's definitely worth it. It's unfortunate that it, it was kind of a hidden gem. Yeah, that's all I got, though. Don Machi season four. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it like an eight and a half out of ten somewhere between eight and a half and a nine but let me know what you guys thoughts about this anime are down in the comments below did you enjoy it or specifically what parts of it did you enjoy and uh yeah hit that like button hit, little, little, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video hit that sub button too and i will catch you guys on the next one peace